Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a mukbang basically of Filipino sty style chichiria or um, kakanin, right? That's right, kakanin. I remembered the right words. Okay, so <laughs> we went recently to a Filipino market and we got a bunch of chichiria and kakanin for me to try. Some of this I have had before, like for instance with the nagaraya. I've done, even if some of you guys have been sticking around our channel for a long time now, you might have seen that I did actually a video on a blind taste test of these, all the flavors. But today we just have two flavors. <laughs> yeah, we weren't yeah. able to find all the flavors. I know, because my favorite is hot and spicy and they didn't have any. They're all out. Yeah. But that's okay, because these two are still good. And what did we do at the grocery store, Spade? What were we doing there? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we were on the hunt for some uh, ube powder, ube flavoring, and quick melt cheese because we are going to be making some ube cheese pandesal. Are you excited for that? Yeah, that's going to be a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so tara na! Uh oh. <laughs> are you saying ready, right? Let's go. Let's yeah. go, yeah. Okay. Tara na, right? That's uh, how you say it. Tama. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, let's go guys! Uh, yes guys, so alam nyo guys, si Mrs. love na love talaga niya yung mga Filipino foods. So I just told them that you love, love Filipino, Filipino foods. Food. Yes. And I it's about that. time to introduce her guys uh, to Filipino snacks. Well, she has tried a few snacks before. Uh, yeah. But some kakanin you haven't like um this right. puto. But anyways, I think I have. Yeah. Pisahan na natin. That one I don't know what you said that time. <laughs> Mm. The first time I heard what you said, but okay. But we have here. Let's see. Um, basically, guys, ube inspired kind of dessert because we were looking for that yeah. ube stuff to make ube cheese pandesal. But um, have you tried? Let's see, ube puto before. I don't think so. I, I don't think okay. I have tried that one yet. Okay, we're I'm gonna, we're gonna have her try that ube puto right here. I know that puto is rice cake, though. Yeah. yeah. That's all I know. I don't think I've had it though. Okay, here you go. Try that. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good. Yep. That's pretty simple. Mm hmm. You know why it's pretty simple? Why it's just rice and ube? Well, you usually eat it with dinuguan. I've heard of that, but I can't remember what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure you tried it already when, we were, when we were in Hawaii. Remember that um, pork innards and then the blood? Oh. It looks like blood, black. Yeah. You've tried that, right? Yeah. So how would how did you like it? Um, I don't really remember, but I think I liked it. Yeah. I think I thought it was pretty good. You usually eat it with that. And ah, we just so you don't have... so you don't want it to be super flavorful then, because that other dish yes. is very. Okay. You, you, eat, you usually eat it with dinuguan. All right. It's been a long time since I, you've had that dinuguan, right? Yeah, and I think it was just one time. Yeah, and this ube actually this doesn't taste like ube. Not really. What do you think, babe? Probably they Not just really. put like purple food coloring here Maybe. to make it look like it's actual ube. Maybe. But yeah. this one is puto cheese. Ooh, it's I the love same thing. cheese. There you go. <laughs> right there. Let's try Let's some. try that. Okay. Let's take a bite where there's a lot of cheese. Mmm. 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 It tastes very similar to the other one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Very simple tasting. Same thing, babe. The cheese isn't very strong in this either. Mm-hmm. 
Same thing, you eat this with the nuguana, mm -hmm. usually. Yeah. Mm. All right. Pretty good, though. Where's our drink? Let's see. Do we have our mini fridge here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I we were gifted it. this mini fridge. Well, because you have to lift it up. Okay. Mark bought three different drinks to go with. And this we're going to start with this one. Okay. So this is the true orange royal. Normally I don't drink soda, but I'm making an exception. Just for this time. Yeah, maybe we should just open one. Let's then. see. Yeah, that one royal right there. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually very popular in the Philippines, babe. Yeah. Here, is it is it just this. orange soda? Yes, it is. I've had orange soda, but we'll see how it compares to what we have here. Here, I'll open this. Okay. All right. Hmm. It does taste kind of like the mm. orange soda we have here in America, but it does taste a little bit different. Yeah. It does have a little bit of a unique flavor. Royal through orange. Mm-hmm. You know, and they believe it or not, it's, it's been a good. long time. It's been five years since I've had last had this. Oh, I believe it. You've been living in the States for a while. Yeah, and, and to be honest, guys, this bo uh, canned Can of soda, soda is actually, it has something that says to be sold only in the Philippines. For some, <laughs> for some reason, for some reason, we found it here. <laughs> we're we're having a hard time. Uh, yeah, I'm like, how did this get here? I don't know. Because it's only to be sold only in the Philippines. But anyways, oh, no. guys, thank goodness we were able to find this anyways. We found it, yeah. Because it's been five years since I've had this. Is it nostalgic for you? Mm-hmm. All right. Um. What's next? Let's see. Let's do all the sweet stuff last. All, all the sweet stuff yeah, last. Yeah, so I mean, this is more of a... Sweet? No. Oh. This is, like, not as sweet, because this is cheese. Yeah. So let's... I'll just take out one of these. They're all kind of stuck together. Like oh, yeah, that's right. Guess they're a two-pack? No, no, you will just, you just remove it like that. Oh, they're, like, all connected? Yeah. Oh, wow. They're all connected like that, so... You just rip them off? Yeah, just like that. You can that can be your scarf. Wow! So you could like take this to somewhere. Yeah. And then you just when you're sitting down in your seat, like if you go to a sports game, then you just like like a basketball game if you're in the <laughs> Philippines because you guys love basketball. And then you oh oops, I tried oh, to no. rip it off and it ripped open. Fail. Oops! Now we have two open ones. That's okay. Okay. You haven't had this before, right? No. Okay. This is a new one. Another new one. But it definitely smells familiar, like that fake cheese mm -hmm. <laughs> smell. Mmm. This definitely feels like something that like a child would love. Mm-hmm. Was this one of your childhood favorite yeah. snacks? Yeah, most of these uh, chicheria and kakanin guys are my childhood favorites. Mm. Mm. I mean, this is pretty good, but I feel like I would have liked this more when I was younger. Yeah, I still love it. But now. it's not it's not bad. I still like it. It's kind of of unique. Like mm. it does have like that sort of fake cheese flavor, but it's like a little different than what I'm used to. I don't know. Mhm. Mm so far, how are you loving the Filipino snacks, chicharian katanin? So far, so good. Mhm. Mm nothing yet that I don't like. Hopefully, there's nothing that I don't like. I'm hopeful. I think I think I'll like all of this stuff. Okay, that's the case. Guys, we are just setting these aside. We're not wasting it. We're no. just going to put it away later and eat, eat it at a later time. Oh, yeah. Because we don't really like wasting our food. So we're just putting it away right here, putting it aside. Food. But yeah, we're going to eat all of it. Um, let's we try might, the We might here. even share some with family or with family, or, yeah. Ooh. This right here okay. is chicharron. So, chicharron, I have had it, but I don't, I haven't had like it from a Filipino brand because this is also 
like a common like Mexican treat also. Right. Because I think it's more is it's like more Spanish inspired. I would assume since they mm. have it in Latin America too. Either way, let's try and see if it's similar. Yeah, and you usually dip that in that um, vinegar. Yeah, I haven't had it dipped in vinegar before, so this will be like this is the new part of it for me. I haven't had it dipped in vinegar before. Much better when you dip it in the vinegar, right, babe? Yeah. Guys, just so you know, like, this is like the spicy vinegar. <laughs> yeah, the seasoned one that has a lot of spices in it. Mm hmm Yeah, it's not a plain, but it is pretty good. Yeah. This is not a plain vinegar we're dipping the chicharron on. Mm -mm. And it's much better when you have, like, spices in it or when the vinegar is already seasoned. Yeah. If you can get one from the store, or you can make it yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna... Oops. Put it back? Yeah. Okay. I'll just finish this one since I've already bitten off of it. What else is next? Oh, we have ube hopia. Have you tried, have you tried hopia before? I think you might have bought it once while we were living in Hawaii. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, but then... I don't think you have tried ube hop yet. Maybe not. Okay, let's try this. Uh, it's super, super hard to open. I don't remember which flavor it was, but it does look very familiar, so I think I might have tried it. Oops. I don't want this to fall out. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Very densely packed. That's good. Yeah. One of the best hopias I've ever had, babe. Mm. Yeah. And this one does taste like ube. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very densely packed. Hopias actually. It's good. One of my favorite Filipino pastries. Mm-hmm. Because the, they're dense. Is, is the ube one your favorite? Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe it's just one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while we're doing this, guys, while we're eating, we want to give um, some of our Lottie fam a shout-out. It's been a long time since we haven't given you guys a shout-out because when we're not doing this, guys, when we're not doing our YouTube, we're not creating content, we're just... Working. <laughs> We're bu actually busy working. Like, we leave home early. We're just like you guys. We're just like you. We're nine to fivers. Yeah. We leave home early. We come home late. And if we have extra time after that, we create content. And so that's why we weren't able to give you a shout out, guys. But just know that that doesn't mean that we don't appreciate you. We don't recognize you. That doesn't mean that way. We actually appreciate you and recognize you. We are just totally pressed on time. But now we have the opportunity, although you might not see a like um, screenshot of your names, guys. But we want to read it here. We have, um, let's see, Ferdi Peralta watching from Laguna, Philippines. Laguna, Philippines. And we have Nash Explorer, new subscriber here. I'd like to ask where do you guys live here in Canada? So Nash, we actually don't live in Canada, we live in Seattle. Um, that profile picture that we've taken um, from Waterton or in Waterton, that yeah. was from a road trip from last year. Yeah. yeah. I do have family in Canada though. Yes, Abby has. And um, let's see, who else wants to ask for a shout out? Mr. Speedy Boy Blaster. What did he say, babe? He says, hello, adorable couple. Thank you. Watching here in Dubai. Hashtag Lodi fam. But shout out to my daughter, Chris Rian. What's, what's her name? Chris Rian. Chris Rian. Shout out, um, Mr. Speedy Boy, Speedy Boy Blaster's daughter, Chris Rian. Thank you for watching all the way from Dubai. Yeah. 
and um what else do we have a lot of people there i know <laughs> yeah because not all of these are like the shout out kind of comments but <laughs> and just know guys that if for example we mention a few people here that we want we're giving a shout out to and you don't get mentioned and you want to give a shout you want to be giving mm -hmm. a shout out that doesn't mean that we disregard you we just literally go through a lot of comments um we can't keep up anymore but guys trust us trust me when we go full time at youtube we're not we're not gonna forget you we're definitely we'll have a little more time <laughs> yeah we'll have a little more comments. time yes but anyways while we're doing that babe maybe um try some oh have you tried this before put ube puto seco puto seco no it's actually good it's like a, so <laughs> there's a trick to eating this babe oh really you, yeah you have to you have to put it all in your mouth because once you start biting it it will it just basically it it will just basically explode in your mouth oh like little flowers and stuff like oh. that so you don't want that to happen Ugh. I don't know how they pack this. <laughs> they don't want it breaking. Okay. Okay. It Here you go. It's like a little. So this is a little an, candy. This is an ube puto seco. Puto seco. At least that's how it's spelled. Mm. Okay. Yep. Mm. Mm. What do you think, babe? It tastes really good, but yeah, it's very powdery. Mm. <laughs> it feels like dry in your mouth. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's have another one of our drinks. Yeah, I think it's about time you try the mogu mogu. Mm -hmm. mm. What is that? Now is the time because now my mouth is all dry. Yeah. This drink, guys, Mogu Mogu. This is basically not a Coco here that we got. Abby hasn't tried this before and we'll I don't see. Think so. Yeah, we'll see if Mogu Gusto Hanya. Coconut flavor with Nata de Coco. Mm, no added colors. Okay, ba? Oh. Mas sarap. Mas sarap. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. How'd you like it? Like, do you like the little? Mhm. Mm How would you describe the flavor? It's very mild. Kind of tastes like coconut juice. Yeah. But a little bit different. But no, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not like overly sweet or anything. Yeah. It's like refreshing. <laughs> and I think it's good mess it up we have uh jay rubio jay rubio he is a vlog that jay rubio vlog happy watching from uk jay uh, wow, jb thanks. jb rubio thank you for watching and actually babe a lot of people have watched your um learning tagalog all day that video guys oh, abby yeah. has been learning tagalog um i've been studying <laughs> yeah she's been studying and then we have andy arakel he said, she's doing good so far. Ang galing niya. Sa tingin ko madali siyang matuto. So he was saying, you're good. You will learn fast. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Salamat. Yes. Woo. <laughs> I've been trying to just sprinkle in all the words that I can remember like in the moment when I'm talking to Mark. Yeah. Like, even at the grocery store, I was like saying that, right? Yeah, you were. And um, what else have, haven't we tried here, babe? We, we're actually getting full. Like the new ones? Yeah. Okay, have not tried these ube crackers. Oh, that's right. Let's go try that one. Let's try it. Yeah. And we have Gavin Aception. He said, Idol ko kayong dalawa, sir. Legit na legit. Walang pagkukunwari. Lagi ako nanonood sa inyo. So he said, You're legit? Our, our content is legit. No. Aww no fakery you know that's, what i'm saying that's babe? true yeah um he and he's always watching so gavin if you're watching this thank you so much yeah thanks for watching and we want to
keep this content like this YouTube channel as genuine as possible. Yeah. We are actually not faking it. This is this is real, guys. What you see here on camera, this is it. This is that's, us. That's like what makes it fun for yeah. us is that like it's real and it's not like scripted. Except yeah. obviously for like the superstition yeah, or that. something or like the customs video. Yeah. Obviously that was like I was acting in that one. Yeah. But otherwise everything is just and, and we create our content independent of others other people's opinion you know some people are saying oh I'm watching we don't care we don't care who watches oh. and we just love creating genuine content guys so if you're watching this thank you so much if you don't like this content you don't have to watch it and yeah guys we this is a product of our free uh, this is basically a space for us where we can fully express our yeah. ourselves right mm -hmm. without someone limiting our freedom so for those of you who are watching this video and you don't like it it's fine we're not gonna be offended you can find another content our content is not for everybody yeah right but anyways what is it so now this is like the buttercream ube crackers i hope you can see That's that right I have there. short arms but yes so i took like one bite already and it was really good, but let's keep eating it here. Oh. Because it's a big cracker, we so. can split it. Have you mm, had this before? No. Oh, wow, so it's both of our first time. I like it. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it's sweet. Like, there's definitely, you can, well, I don't think you guys can see, but. There's a lot we, of sugar. We can see there's a lot of sugar on top. Yeah. And I feel like you can kind of taste the ube flavor a little bit. Here, let me try your mogu mogu. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a really sweet cracker. I like it. And here's the thing, babe. Hmm. Um, if Guys, if you have been watching, like, if you have been following us for quite uh, a while now, we have this video where I actually talk... Tagalog. I spoke Tagalog to you all day and it's actually the video with that has the most view and a lot of people are saying oh she's upset um, she hates you like for example Still? yeah dude she's really upset what do you say what, what's your message babe? were you really upset when you I was talking to you in Tagalog like no no honestly babe it's fine you can tell them I wasn't upset you weren't upset? No. Maybe I should watch the video again. I did watch yeah. it before, but I don't remember being upset when we were filming that video. Yeah. Um, and I understand where they're coming from because, you know, if you talk to someone in your own language, especially all day, it's kind of annoying, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I understand where they're coming from. But, you know, each couple is different. Um, there are couples out there that are, that are actually fighting all the time, but after that, they're fine, and they're just okay. Um, the type of couple that we are, we love, we we love doing new stuff, right? And adventure and yeah. um, little things like this don't really bother us. But yeah, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> we're almost done with our. What else? What else haven't we tried here? Um, I mean, oh, you haven't tried this. There's a bunch of stuff we haven't tried. Super sticks. This is one of my favorite childhood snacks, babe. Super yeah, sticks. Super sticks. And this is ube flavor I mean, as well. I've had something similar to this here, but it's like instead of ube, it's like chocolate. Yeah. Swirl into these things. Let's. I'll try some. Try it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Is there supposed to be ube in the middle? No, this one's ube. So everything oh, that's in the middle, uh, everything, yeah. This well, the picture is misleading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, the picture is misleading. Look at that. Like, the one inside is supposed to be ube, but it's actually milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else haven't we tried here? Um, maybe the otap. Yeah. So, guys, I have had otap before. But I haven't had the ube one. I've had, I don't even know what flavor it was, but it's one of the other ones. Okay, it's hard to open. Hard to open? Yeah, do you have the knife here? Yeah, somewhere. It's right there. Okay. But anyways, we will How just about? continue reading, babe. Okay. Let's see. 
someone says you <laughs> I make her hungry because when our it was one of our food reviews because I said everything was so good. I'm sorry if I made you hungry. Who was that? It was. I don't know how to say it. Ikizen. Ikizen. Yeah, Ikizen. Ik, ik, yeah, Ikizen. Yeah. So sorry. Here's your ube. Oh, ube. Up. Yep. Right there. Here. Okay. Let's try this. And a lot of people are actually saying, babe, that um, you are doing great in Tagalog. And um, a lot of them agree with me that you will really learn Tagalog real fast because it's one of the easiest languages to learn. And we have. Mmm. This is pretty good. Probably one of the better otops I've tried. I've had two other kinds before. Yeah. One of them I didn't like as much as this one. But then the other one I think maybe even I liked a little bit more <laughs> than this one. I don't know. So maybe this one's in the middle. But this is good. I would eat it again. And we have actually a lot of... Where did all the people that were asking for a shout out go? I don't know. <laughs> We're scrolling through, yeah. trying to find all the shout outs. Here we go. John Michael Rivera. He said... Thank you for watching. Well, what did he say? Um, Idol, kinilaw naman na bangus. Bangus is a type of fish. I showed you that earlier. Oh, kinilaw. That's yeah. like the raw fish, right? Yeah. Gawin mo at pa-shout out na din po from Pinas. John Michael Rivera, what do we say? Shout out. Yes, shout out. Shout out to you. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Let's see, what's another thing we have not eaten yet? What about this one? Oh, the regular putusiko. Oh, this is a. Oh, this one's just regular. The regular, yes. Let's just try it anyway. Yeah, try it. See if there's any difference at all. Yeah, because it is a different brand, so maybe they make it different. Well, earlier it was ube, and uh -huh. this one is just a regular. Oh. And after that, we gotta do the popia baboy. Is that cheese? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ba baboy is pork, babe. Oh, so yeah. it's... Okay, sorry. Because it looks like there's cheese on top. That's why I said that. Okay. <laughs> well, now I know. <laughs> mm, this, yeah, this one's shaped different. It's shaped kind of like a, a miniature cookie. Hmm. What do you think? The taste is a little different, but the texture is pretty much the same. Yeah? Babe, do you remember Righteous One? <laughs> yeah. Righteous One, um, we want to yeah. give you a shout out. You and the Bodoleros, hopefully you're not doing some Boodle Boodle, but shout out to you and your group. <laughs> Bodoleros. Um, what else? So we have Proud Ophirian. 24 Len. She said. What did she say? Right Sorry, here. self, for watching this video in the middle of the night. Oh, because <laughs> Pinoy style mukbang. Yeah, so our. Oh no! <laughs> eat all you can mukbang. Yeah. yeah. We made her hungry. It's our fault. You know, I've been there. I Sometimes I like watching people do mukbangs because. I just, I love food, <laughs> but then you feel like you want to eat it, <laughs> so it's kind of like a good and a bad thing <laughs> Yeah. all at once, so I've, I've been there. I know, my friend sent me a video today that was food related, and it was about chicken, and then it made me want to eat chicken, and I, st I still haven't eaten chicken yet, but <laughs> it made me want chicken. <laughs> oh, by the way, this speaking of I chicken. This pork though, what? What? When you go to the Philippines, I'll take you to Mang Inasal. Mang Inasal? Mm hmm What is that? So basically, um, it's chicken barbecue, but it's an all rice all you can. Ooh. So unlimited rice, uh, and you eat with your hand. Oh, yeah. So you know how to eat with your hand already, yeah, right? Yeah, because Mark taught me. <laughs> okay. He taught me, like, the official, like, the correct way with your hand. Okay. So let's try the, the pork. The pork hopia. Ba um, ba hopia. Boy. Hopia baboy. Okay. We have RFJ channel OFW. 
um, this is education he has a very, pretty long name but anyways guys he watched our halo halo video and he said looks yummy halo halo hello guys love watching your vlog but shout out po to all Pinoy staff working at King Fad University of Petroleum and Minerals KFUPM Kingdom of Saudi Arabia most especially in the graduate studies department where I worked with we want to wow. say um, to our overseas Filipino workers I'm one of uh, obviously I'm overseas and of course I'm working to I'm Filipino so I'm also an overseas Filipino worker I'm, I'm, I'm an OFW guys so um, our message to them because they are the real they, they are the actual real-life heroes they leave their families and their kids it's a sacrifice so that they can provide a better life for their families mm -hmm. so we want to say thank you guys for watching stay safe stay healthy um, wear your mask wash your hands and say hi to your family for us yeah we love you guys mm -hmm. so um, what what was it you tried so the hope you bubble how was yeah. it it was good how would it you was, describe what's the difference between the ube well you can definitely taste the meat in that one it's not what? like a, it's not like a strong meaty flavor but you can taste it mm -hmm. i think i might like the ube a little bit better but they're both really good mm. i like them both i like them both too which one do you like of the two um probably bobway okay well that's fair um this one guys is polvoron Again, this is one of my favorite childhood snacks. Polvoron? Yeah, polvoron. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you haven't had this before. I don't think so. It doesn't look familiar. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't think I've ever had it. Okay. Let's just move this over. Okay. Here, try this. We've uh, almost had everything. This is almost like Porto Seco because it's just, just it's literally a flower. Oh, is it going to explode in my mouth also? No, you can just... I don't have yeah. to eat it in one bite. Yeah, or yeah don't, I? don't, don't eat it in one bite. But just be careful. Just be careful. Because it will just collapse in your hand. Because oh. it's just flour. Oh. Oh, that does taste pretty good. You see. Mm. Also very, like dry texture, but it tastes good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I can see why you would like this. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Tastes like powdered milk, huh? I guess. <laughs> Here. Have another of this. Oh, you have some more mocha mocha right there. I've never had powdered milk, though, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that really tastes like powdered milk, but very powdery, but it tastes yeah. good. It does taste kind of dairy-ish, though. So. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Have you tried this lily koi? The no. passion fruit mogo mogo? We have it's we I forget the name. We call this we have a name for this in the Philippines, but the passion fruit? The passion fruit, yes. I forgot the name. And Well, I'll try this passion fruit mogo mogo. Mm. I might like this one even better than the coconut one. Oh, how do you say coconut again? Macapuno. Macapuno. Yeah, but it's a different kind of coconut. Oh, oh that's right, guys. We still, we still have I this. I think we should do that one last. Fudgy bar. We will do this last. Yeah. Because it looks like it looks so good to me that I'm like, let's save it for last. But yeah, I, I like the passion fruit. Okay. Mogu mogu. Are we going to try these ones that I've already had before? Um, Uishi? I think you have this before, so we... I have. Uh, we, we don't have to try this. Because we're getting full, so all the ones that I've already had, we, we just might not try. Like today. the Nagaraya. Yeah, I've had uh, both of these too. Yeah. If, so actually, maybe... If you haven't yet, if, but if they want to see you trying these two, Watch our other video. We will put a dis uh, we'll put the link on the description yes, below. It was, a, it was a blind taste test where I had to yeah. guess the flavors. And um, what else have you not tried? I think this might be the last one, actually. 
Yeah, that's right. This is going to be the last one. Of all the ones that I have not yet tried. Yeah, the fudgy bar. Ooh, this was the first thing Mark picked out in the store that he said yeah. I had to try. Because you know why, babe? Because it's good. It's good. And this is one of the most expensive snacks in the Philippines. In the Philippines. So At least like, when I was there, I really, I rarely buy that so because like, it's expensive. So like this was the treat that everybody the, the, wanted. The treat. Yeah, when I was this there, was it was five pesos per oh. one per piece. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. when I go to school, I only have a three pesos baton. We call that pocket money mm. for when you go to school. Baton. Yeah. So I can't afford it. That's true. Yeah. Well, now you can. We have a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. We didn't so? get to the cream yet, but so far. Yeah, so far it tastes good. You can taste the pandan. Mmm. The pandan flavor is there. I'm gonna take another bite, see if I can get to the coconut. <laughs> There's still none. <laughs> it's there. Look at that. Right there. You can oh. you can taste it? No. No, I kinda taste it, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Masarap? Yeah, masarap. It's just I thought it was gonna be a lot, like the picture. Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, but by, by like, the way, because <laughs> like here we have a like if something is advertised like this, and that's usually what it's gonna be like. Like look at here, that, guys. Like we have Twinkies or something, or like that different filling. cream filled. Um, like or like sometimes we have donuts that are cream filled. Yeah. So I thought it was gonna be like a lot of cream. <laughs> No. Yeah, no, no. So it's okay. it's pretty common in the Philippines. Like what you see this, what you see here? Yeah. You see that? There's like mm -hmm. packed with ubi jelly or something. Yeah. Ubi and syrup like in the middle like there's a and then there's cream in right in the middle, but there's nothing like that. And the same thing here. You see right here. It's it like looks, it looks like it's filled with like <laughs> coconut cream. But instead, there's just like a teeny, teeny bit. <laughs> you, can't, yeah, it, you can't really see it unless you look closely. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually pretty common in the Philippines with this the advertising. False advertisement. <laughs> you could call it that if you want, but... <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. I mean, at least they do... At least with this one, they do have it in there. Unlike this one, there's no ube cream in the middle at all. <laughs> this one is just not as mm. much as they show. But that's okay. It still it does still taste good, so <laughs> I'm not too upset about it. <laughs> but it, it wasn't what I was expecting. But yeah, you can taste the pandan. You can kind of taste the makapuna also. Yeah. But it's a very faint flavor because there's not very much of it in there. Okay. Mmm. But it's good. I would eat it again. Yeah. And, babe, mm -hmm. I think we've tried everything. So, guys, yes. thank you for watching. Any last words for our Lodi fam? Yeah. Thanks, as always, for tuning in and watching this video. We appreciate it. If you have anything else that you guys can think of that you ever want me to try, <laughs> Feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm always open to try anything at least once. <laughs> yeah. So, Mark can attest to that. I've tried some interesting things on this channel yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did. She tried Tuyo, Balut, and a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. So, yeah, if there's anything that's either really good, like something that's one of your favorites that you think I would really love that you want me to try, or something that's interesting, you're not sure if I'd like it, because it's like a unique yeah. Philippines dish, like balut, which I've already had, but you know, I could try something weird like that too. I'm not shy <laughs> about it. Yeah. But <laughs> anyways, just let us know any suggestions that you have or for any other kind of videos too. But again, just thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, 
And if you want to see our future videos, hit subscribe and the bell notification so that you can um, be notified when we upload. Yeah, and we say mahal namin kayo. Mahal is of course love. love. Namin is us. Kayo I is you. you. you yeah. Yeah. Again, mahal namin kayo. Mahal namin kayo. Until next time guys, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.